Hi, I'm Steve Amos. I'm a scientist at 3M Company. You may know 3M as a maker of post-it notes, sandpaper, and tape, but we make many other products. In fact, I work in the industrial business where we make products that are used in industrial applications. One of the products that I work on, a very unique product, are glass microspheres, glass bubbles. Here's a sample of what I'm talking about. The white powder in this tube is a glass bubble that is about 20 microns in size. And it's very free-flowing. If you looked at these under the microscope, you would see a small spherical object that is hollow inside. You might ask, what are these useful for? These are low in density, between 0.1 and 0.6 grams per cc in density. So you can put these into plastic resin systems and make very lightweight composite systems. Let me show you how we do that in my laboratory. This is my glass bubble application laboratory at 3M. This is where we put glass bubbles into plastic, make test specimens, and measure physical properties so we can assure customers that we can provide a glass bubble filled composite that is low in weight but also matches the specifications in application. You might ask, why would you want to use glass bubbles to lightweight a plastic part when there are other technologies such as chemical blowing agents? Here's an example of expanded polystyrene foam that's used a chemical blowing agent probably to make this foam structure. Notice it's very friable. You can break it very easily. Here's a sample of glass bubble containing composite in polypropylene. So it's light in weight, but as you can see, it's very stiff and it can be used for structural applications such as automotive parts, aerospace parts, and other types of structural parts.